If you are running a small business and can't afford to run a website, how can you rank in Google? You can find out the answer right after this. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. If you're a local business owner, your budget may not stretch far enough to build a website to market your business online. And while Facebook and Instagram seem like nice alternatives to attract new customers, ranking on Google is still by far the most effective strategy to get your phone ringing. But if you don't have a website, how can your business be found on Google? Easy. Claim a Google My Business listing, just like this one. Creating a Google My Business listing is one of the best ways to be found on Google Search and Google Maps through desktop computers, mobile phones, but also voice search devices. Creating a listing is totally free and is critical to all local businesses. Why? Because beyond being found on Google, it also gives you the opportunity to display key information about your business to people who are searching for you, such as your opening hours, your address, directions to get to you, as well as showcase your services through images and videos. Potential customers will also be able to interact with you directly from your profile by calling you, request quotes, send messages, and post feedback about your business in the form of reviews. And the beauty of it all is that it doesn't matter if you have a website or not, since your listing is enough to rank in Google Maps and Google Search, just like for this plumber who clearly doesn't have a website. Additionally, you will also have access to detailed insights, giving you invaluable information about how customers are finding you on Google, the number of phone calls you've received, if anyone has requested directions to get to you, etc. Claiming a Google listing is totally free, and I'm still baffled by the huge number of business owners out there who have yet to claim theirs. If this is your case, just do it today. It's a very simple process. If you need help, you can watch my tutorial, How to Create a Google My Business Listing. Although creating a listing is easy and just takes a few minutes, for it to rank in Google as high as possible, you'll need to optimize it and capitalize on the many features Google My Business has to offer. There are plenty of features available, so I'm not going to cover them now. Instead, I suggest you watch my video, Google My Business Optimization, How to Turn Your Listing into a Client Magnet, where I go through each and every feature in detail and how you can make the most of them. If you don't take the time to watch that video, I recommend you focus at least on two key aspects that will help you rank in Google Maps and Google Search. The first one is to build positive customer reviews for your listing, as not only it will help you create trust with potential customers, but also will boost your listing higher up in the pecking order of Google Maps. The second one is to make sure you choose the right business categories for your listing, especially the primary one, as it will have a major impact on whether your business gets displayed on Google Search or not for the services you provide. For more information, you can watch my video on how to pick the best business categories. One thing to be conscious of is although Google My Business is a great way of being found on Google for free, not having a website is still going to be very limiting if you want to attract new customers. Just like collecting quality reviews for your listing will influence how well you rank in Google, having a website for your business will also play a huge part on how well your listing ranks in search results. According to the most recent local search ranking factor survey, website content, which here is referred to as on-page, and links pointing to a site play a huge part in ranking local businesses in results right behind having a Google listing and customer reviews. Let me illustrate with an example. If I search for a dentist in Portland, there is a list of three results, each with a website. If I click on one of the sites, you can see there is a lot of relevant content about dentistry on the site. If I then look at the links pointing to this site from across the web using one of my SEO tools, I can see there are about 2,000 links pointing to it. Both factors will be used by Google to determine how high this business should rank in search results and map results, which in this case is in the top three in a map pack. So if you were competing as a dentist in Portland and didn't have a website, it would be difficult for you to drum up new business with only a Google listing. You'd be missing a big part of the puzzle and unlikely to rank above these businesses. So how did our plumber manage to rank right at the top of the map pack with no website in our previous example? 
It's difficult to say for sure, but looking at the top 15 local pack finder factors, you can see that the primary category you choose for your listing is the most influential ranking factor. Having a keyword in your business name will greatly impact your visibility. And finally, the proximity to the point of search comes at number three. In this instance, our plumber has picked the right category, which matches my search and is likely to be the closest plumber to me. All of which may be enough to be listed on top of the search results when I search for plumber near me, even without a website. However, if I do the same search only a few hundred meters further down the road, he is unlikely to rank because he is missing the relevance needed by having a website, meaning he will be missing out on a ton of business. So what should you do if you don't have the budget to create your own fully fledged website? Create a free one using the Google My Business free website builder. Once you've claimed and verified your Google My Business listing, you will have access to a free website builder that will enable you to create a simple yet professional looking website in only a few minutes just like for this dog grooming business. No need for any coding or design skills. Just log into your Google My Business account. On the left hand side menu, click on website and use the predefined templates to build your site. You can select a theme that best fits the look and feel of your business. Choose a call to action button between various options so customers can get in touch with you easily. Add a header image such as your shop front, a headline, a description and more. What is great when creating a site with a Google web page builder is that it automatically imports all the business information you have filled in when claiming your Google listing, such as opening and closing times, a Google Maps, and an image gallery. It will also automatically import customer reviews and your Google posts in the form of updates on your page, making the whole process seamless. Once you're happy with your site, just click on publish, then go to more and add your newly created site to your Google My Business listing. Pretty cool, right? There are a number of limitations such as the inability to create additional pages, not being able to add social media sharing buttons or track the activity of the site through analytics. But overall, it's a much better alternative than not having a website at all. And it's totally free, so you have no excuse. Time to look at another opportunity to rank in Google without a website. Head over to Google and search for a service that your business provides. Let's say I am a dentist, so I'm going to search for dentist near me. In this example, you can see that just above the map pack, there is a box that says find results on. This is known as the find results carousel, which generally includes a list of directories. When you click on one of those directories, you will be redirected to a list of local businesses based on your search. This results carousel feature is only available in European countries and is Google's response to abide to the European Commission antitrust shopping policy by displaying third party options as part of its own results. The prominence of this carousel at the top of the search results is such that if you run a local business and are located in a European country, you will want to be listed in all the relevant directories that Google may list as part of its results, giving you the chance to attract new customers. It is an indirect way of ranking high in Google search results, but an effective one, and it doesn't require a website either. My advice here is to conduct multiple searches related to your business, Make a list of all the directories you see listed and add your business to them whenever possible. As you've seen, ranking in Google for a local business without a website is clearly possible, but somehow will limit your visibility. If you're just starting out and money is tight, I recommend you use the tactics I have just described in this tutorial until you're able to spare enough cash and get a website built. The sooner you're able to do this, the faster you'll climb Google ranks and the more customers you'll get. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.